everyone, welcome to my channel and today's video is going to be all about making a tail and painting a wolf sculpture that I've done. I've now I've done another one of these in the past with a brown one but someone requested a blue wolf from me and it's a funny little story. I, used, I made this blue wolf, this was the first ever blue wolf that I made way back in the day, like years ago even and I had it on my Etsy store for ages. It was this blue, blue wolf with leopard spots that were blue and had this big bushy tail that I made and that sold a while ago and since then people have just wanted this exact same wolf again and again which you know I absolutely love and I'm so grateful for everyone for buying from my store but it takes a lot of time to make it especially with me working so it takes like a good month for me to make one of just one of these it's mental so I'm in the process of making a mold out of this one but for this the one that I'm making in this video I sculpted him and he's all sculpted and I just need to paint him put some spots on glitter him and then put some fur on him that's all I need to do and it's to be honest it's the funnest part so this guy is made out of polymer clay he's made with an armature inside he's not a mold I also put some cabbage on eyes in him so he's a little bit different to ones that I've already done and I really like the whole cabbage on eye cabbage on the dome eyes that I've put in him, I really, I really like them, I think they look really cool. So I'm going to be doing that hopefully in new sculptures that I do. I, you know, I really like, I really like making wolves, I really, really do. I think I like them more than unicorns, which is a little bit awkward because my logo is a unicorn, but I like making wolves, so I don't know, maybe I've got to start making some unicorns to, you know, bump up my uh, representation of my logo, maybe. We'll see, we'll see. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed this video, it's all about me just making my wolf. This is the wolf sculpture that I'm going to be painting in this video. I've made him using white polymer clay and I always tend to use white polymer clay whenever I'm going to be painting one of my sculptures. I always find that using the white first kind of makes all the colours that I'm going to paint on top much brighter and a lot more kind of consistent throughout when I'm painting it when it's white first. It's also good as well if you've actually got something that needs to be white. So for this one, it's going to be like white fur and maybe its head's going to have little white bits. It's much better to use it with clay, I've found personally, than painting on top because for some reason I can never get paint to be fully white. No matter how many layers I put on it, it always looks murky and like just not consistent and like, I don't know, powdery. This I just can't get that consistency right with white paint. So it's just better to start off with white polymer clay. So to start off with, with this one, cause it's blue, I'm gonna be laying a quick light blue wash, just mapping out where I need the color to be on this wolf. It's okay if it looks patchy, it looks really bad, but that's fine for the first layer. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna leave this to completely dry and then I'll do another layer on top. You'll notice that the next layer will be a lot more opaque than this one. The first wash, don't worry, it always looks awful, in my opinion. So with a lot of my sculptures I like to start off with the lightest colour fur so in this case it's a light blue and then I like to build up the darker part to the fur. You can do it the opposite way, you can start off with a dark base and then lighten it up. Sometimes that gives a really cool effect but for this one I'm going to start light and then go darker. With a darker blue I just painted parts that would be more shadowed kind of like the edges of the legs and on the back and at the back of the head things like that and sort of round the fur on the face I like to add a little bit of shadow in there so with this wolf I am blending in the darker blue color into the light color and so to do this I keep the dark blue quite wet and then with a clean but wet brush I blend it in to give it a nice soft edge another way that I can blend like two colors into a gradient is getting just a dry clean brush and then blending it from the wet edges into the lighter color
for the nose and around the eyes it's like almost black but I like to add in sort of the dark blue to make it look a little bit more natural against the rest of the colour palette of the wolf. So with the mouth I use the same sort of blue and black mix that I use for the nose and for the eyes and then I water it down a lot to get it into the crevices of the mouth because it's quite deep so you really got to put a lot of water on there and it might look a little bit messy at first but then with a damp cloth I just sort of wipe around the mouth and hopefully the blacky blue paint will stay inside. Sometimes the paint does dry on the actual outside of the mouth where I don't want it so I literally just go over it with white paint. Normally it's watered down so much that it's quite easy for me to get rid of. When the paint has completely dried on the body, I then move on to claying the tail. To start off claying up the tail, I use Fimo liquid or you can use like liquid Sculpey or anything like that just to bind the clay on and I put that all on the tail. I just find that it helps sort of cement the clay in so it doesn't come off, although it is very slippery and things will fall off if you just leave them on there so you've got to smoosh them into the tail. So with my wolf leopard hybrid creature things, I do the white tuft of fur along with the rest of the white polymer clay and you know just paint it white to get rid of any bits and then I tend to do a black ring of clay around the white tuft of fur at the very end but for this one I felt like it would look a bit too garish just being pure black. So again I use like a really dark blue. I don't know, I think I might incorporate this into future ones because I quite like how it looks. It looks a little bit just less in your face than the black clay. Now I'm just adding in some mica powder to make the tufts a little bit more shiny and sparkly. I love using mica powder on clay. The only thing is once you kind of put it on you can't really take it off. So use it very sparingly and make sure it's the right colour first before you put it on the clay. After the dark blue ring I started with the lightest blue clay I could find and then I made sort of a gradient going up from the lightest to the darkest blue. Sometimes I'd have to mix my coloured clays to get the right shade that I wanted so at least three of the colours in this tail have been made with the same blue but I've just added a little bit more white or a little bit more of a dark blue into it. And sometimes I even added in a little bit of green. I don't know, I think blue and green looks really nice together. With the fur that I've got, or the mane on the neck, I've got to do it a little bit differently than how I have been doing with the rest of the tufts of fur. So instead of cutting it into a point and smooshing it in, I have to cut it sort of at an angle and just kind of pop it on <laughs> with some Fimo clay, which is really difficult because if I do it the other way, it just looks a little bit flat. And I don't know, it just doesn't look that good when I've tried to do it. For the leopard spots I started with a light blue and painted on a load of random circles across his entire body. It's good to make them different sizes so they don't look too uniform because leopard spots do not all look the same size. I don't tend to put spots on the tail, I'm not too sure how they'd look and I didn't want to test it out on a commission piece. Maybe in the future I'll try it but it does seem that it'll be like quite hard especially with so many tufts as well.
So after all the circles have dried, and this is very, very important that they're nice and dry, I then get a really fine brush and then I paint little squiggles of black bits all around it. I do it by pushing the brush down, giving it a little wiggle, and then tapering it off so it comes into a point. That's how I've always done my leopard spots, even when I've done face painting. It's kind of just how I like to do them. Sometimes I'll find that I haven't made enough circles, so instead of leaving bits blank, I like to add black spots in without light blue under them. And then I think it makes the pattern look a little bit more random. <laughs> The person who commissioned this wolf wanted some sparkle and so I'm going to add some light blue glitter onto the spots. Adding glitter to the sculpture is so fun but it can be a little bit finickety so I normally get some Mod Podge. For this one I've got the gloss glaze and then I do a thin layer on where I want it to go. And while it's still wet I will just tap some glitter onto it and then completely just leave it, don't touch it, don't, don't do anything with it, just completely leave it alone otherwise if you try and get the excess glitter off now you might take the Mod Podge and the glitter off which will lead to you having to apply more Mod Podge and it'll make it look bumpy i've done it before it's horrible so just leave it leave it to dry leave it and now it's all dry now we can i normally take a nice little fan brush and i just brush off the excess glitter <laughs> video if you did please leave a comment or a like in the section below it would help me out so much as well if you subscribe if you can subscribe to my channel and even click the little bell thingy apparently that tells you when i release new videos uh this wolf this wolf has been really fun like i really enjoyed him i can't, I can't show you the end result but what i can show you is this guy who is going to be a mold that i'm going to start making from that wolf i always find that like this bit sort of the face and the body I like making it, but it just takes so long. It takes too long, to be honest. It stresses me out, kind of, when I've got to make them while I'm in work. Just because it takes so long and I just I want to get it out there as quickly as possible. But everyone that's bought a wolf has been very understanding and it's fine with me taking a month, but I, I don't want to take a month. I want people to get their creations quicker. I'm going to make a mold. A, a mold? A mold? What is a mold? I'm going to make a mold of the wolf and then hopefully I can put, you know, more out there so that people can get their products a little bit quicker i don't know i don't know what you guys think anyway guys that is the end of this video i am very much rambling if you enjoyed this video please leave a comment or a like in the section below and i hope i'll see you guys in the next video bye bye guys <laughs>